Hi, I'm Dylan Paris. I'm a musician, a YouTuber, I work in tech in my day job. Today I want to talk about how to combine LK AUM, an iPad, and some hardware controllers to create a really powerful live composition and performance setup. Over a year ago I made a video about LK and AUM, showing that it's about the closest thing to Ableton for iPad besides maybe Beatmaker 3. In the time since then, they've added hardware support that makes it about the most Ableton-like thing on iPad. Before we get started on this hardware software setup, consider liking and subscribing. To everyone who's already done that, I really appreciate you so much. We're well on our way to 4,000 subscribers, which is only possible because of you. So let's get started. So this is the live setup here. I have the Launch Key Mini Mark III from Novation, the Launchpad X from Novation, an iPad Pro with the M1 processor, although I believe you could also use an iPad Air that has USB-C, so the four, or any of the last three iPads Pro. I'm using a Vava adapter. This is not available on Amazon anymore. I get questions about this a lot. Amazon cracked down on companies that were trying to get people to review their products. That's not how I got it, I just bought it. It's a great little adapter. I do recommend something like this. If this one was still listed, I would put the link, but it's not. So what's special about this setup? Well, if you've seen my previous video on LK and AUM, you know that LK essentially emulates the matrix of the session view of Ableton. So here I've actually already composed a project. As you can see, we have five tracks and five scenes. Although unlike some of my other projects, instead of using scenes that duplicate everything, I'm actually just alternating between different clips here. And these clips correlate directly to the clips you see here on the Launchpad X. This is the coolest feature that's been implemented since the last time I made an overview on LK and AUM. Now, when I create clips, they are properly mapped to the session view and I can even record and trigger recording using the launchpad. So if I were to record enable, you can see that here, these clips are now red, meaning that if I were to tap one, I could actually record a new clip into that scene here. I'm gonna turn that off because today I wanna to just show you an overview of how this all works. The first thing to note is that when you start LK, it does not give you this whole grid here. You have one clip in one track and one scene. You can add more by holding and adding track, which I'm gonna undo, or holding and adding scene, which again, I'm gonna undo. When I started, I made four and four just to give myself options. So the first thing you wanna do is load LK into a MIDI track and then route the MIDI from the launch key MIDI or whatever physical keyboard you're using into LK. So I'm using the MIDI port here, not the DAW port. LK already recognizes that there's a launch pad here. And so you don't have to do any mapping there. If, as long as you're in session mode and not note mode, it's going to correctly show you the exact clips that you have in LK. The rest of this is really similar to my last video, which is that you'll wanna load audio units one by one using audio tracks. And then once they're loaded, you want to make sure that you've filtered each MIDI track by their channel. So this is channel one and that you've mapped the MIDI to at M11LK. There are multiple MIDI sources now, which is new. Uh, I've not been able to make the other ones work. I'm sure Imaginando has some uh, overview of that, but I'm just sticking to this one and filtering by MIDI source down below here on the channel filter. So with that said, I'm gonna do a little performance for you of what I've made, and then I'll walk through what the different components are. So let's get started.
Wow. Okay, so we have a crash. Interesting. Uh, this is why I don't do iPad stuff very much, in case you're wondering. Alright, so we're going to try to reload this. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, this was actually working just fine yesterday when I made everything, but, you know, it's on camera. Now we're going to get a glitch, and it looks like we're actually hitting a critical error here on loading. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and try to reload, but this is worth noting. Okay. So from here, make sure we're still, we are still screen recording. Good. So we're going to try this again and we're going to go to files to my, where I recorded, we're going to load it from the session. I called it moo for some reason, and we're going to see if this actually loads up. So, so far, so good. Uh, actually loading now, but this is really interesting. And I'm going to keep this in the video because, uh, I feel like it's dishonest to hide that the first time I tried to perform this, we had this issue. So. We're going to load up Koala, make sure we're actually getting drums this time. And let me try to perform this beat for you again. I'm going to stop all clips. Okay, so I'm going to give a quick performance of what I made yesterday. And then I'll show you how I built it up. set this up in a way that we can have koala effects going as well and I've routed everything to it so check this out Stutter's not working. Interesting.
Yeah, so this is a bit of a, that was just a bit of a quick performance. It's, you know, a work in progress, but what's cool is we have the ability to trigger the clips here from the launch pad. We have the ability to add effects to our AUV3s to trigger the different ones. And along with that, because I've routed everything into Mixbus A, on Mixbus A, we now have Koala effects as well as an AUV3 to allow us to do live control. And we're able to stack effects. So this string, for example, if I were to solo it, we can play back. It's got EOS reverb on it and fly tape too. Although I actually think the fly tape is no longer doing what I had it doing originally, which is interesting. We then have an FM player too, which has uh, the Bleece delay, Lagrange synth with the first Lagrange preset. I just ended up really liking that. We use Beat Hawk here with one of their presets. This is the Drum and Trap expansion from Drum Designer Trap with some Bleece delay on it, which we can. Here, I'll stop this and I'll just trigger the whole scene again. And on solo. This does appear to have crashed, which is great. So let's reload that and see if that works. Good news, that worked. Which again, speaks to kind of the instability, right? People are like, why aren't you doing iPad videos? And then it's because when I try to do iPad videos, um, and when I try to do iPad music in general, I just run into so many more issues than I do on other hardware. Even the Machina Plus, which I've you know, i been pretty critical of, um, I still run into more consistent issues with this. But when it works, it's really cool, right? Um, I think, That's interesting. I'm just gonna get permanent. Good. <laughs> Why not? I think LK crashed again. Yeah, LK crashed again. Huh. <sighs> okay. Um. I mean, I'm hesitant to even really like. I'm hesitant to even put this out. Um, I mean, originally it was going to be a tutorial, but this is really kind of damning, right? I mean, I have two hardware controllers. Uh, LK is still showing uh, these clips on here, but LK has crashed twice during the filming of this video. Um, we had Beatmaker crash in real time. Yeah, this is just uh, this is kind of a bummer, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't even really know how to what I want to do moving forward like to present this video i mean yeah we can we can go to files we can reload it i'm hopeful that it'll work it won't now uh, it's going to do the same thing it did before uh it's going to be stuck on node one can you imagine if you were a live show can you imagine like if you <laughs> prepared a live set here and then went on stage and then it just kept doing this this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I could not ever trust an iPad. I mean, this is what, 2021, end of 2021? This is the highest tech version of this. And we're still dealing with this. A lot of stuff is better than it used to be. Um, LK loads save states now, so I don't have to go save in LK. But, wow. This is just, just wild. If I start Koala, it's not going to play anything until I load the actual little thing up. That's interesting. Little things like that. Like if you've never used, if you haven't used PCs or Macs, you know, and if you haven't used Ableton, you might think, oh, this is just how music production is, but it really doesn't have to be like this. Um, most things are not this unstable, like constantly falling apart at the seams. Wow. This is not the video I wanted to make guys. I was so happy yesterday. Truthfully, honestly, I was so stoked yesterday working on this track, working with this setup. I really, really wanted to just show you something cool. And what often happens when I want to do that is that things just fall apart. And so 
I've gotten kind of tired of making these types of iPad videos because I know the community means well and that there's so much love and the devs are doing their best, but it's just like, come on, you know? Uh, this is not a cheap setup. The hardware alone is 300 or $400, I think 300 uh, And that's just the MIDI controllers. The adapter was 50 uh, The iPad itself, I was stupid and bought the $1,500, 16 gigs of RAM, M1 Pro. This is the top end. <laughs> Uh, it has a terabyte of storage, M1 iPad Pro, and we're still dealing with this stuff. Um, I don't know what to say. I think, like, I've made a video in the past. Apple really needs to step up, bring logic, and I don't, I know devs don't make a ton of money and don't have a lot of support, but it's kind of a chicken and the egg problem. If things are going to crash all the time, why would I keep putting money into it? And if they don't have enough money to fix stuff, then they're not going to be able to. So it's just, I don't know. This is really not the video I wanted to make. I'm pretty bummed out about this, but I'm going to put this out. It feels dishonest to not release this. Much love to the devs, to everybody. I know you're doing their best. Maybe there's something wrong with my almost $2,000 worth of hardware setup here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I hope it gets better. All right, catch you in the next one.